Angie Coyle, and welcome to episode six of The Beginning Saxophonist, Saxophone and Read Maintenance Basics. So it's really important to know how to take care of your saxophone and your reeds. Um, a, lot of, uh, a lot of beginners end up doing things to break a lot of reeds really early on um, and possibly even damage their saxophones. It's really common for um, especially younger beginners to, yeah, just really not be careful with their saxophones so that things get broken and then they don't know whether it's them or the instrument that's having issues. So here are some tips to try to avoid all of that. All right, so with the saxophone, it's really important to swab the saxophone out after every time you play. You wanna swab out the mouthpiece, the neck, and the body of the saxophone after every time you play. That gets all the condensation out, that helps to prevent sticky pads. Sticky pads will still happen after some time, but it definitely cuts down on um, how fast it happens when you are really good to just swab out every time you play. Another thing, bring your saxophone into a repair shop at least once a year, if not every six months, if it's possible. I know it can be expensive, um, but just a little tune-up is not, not all that expensive. So the reason that this is important is that saxophones are, they're an instrument that need to be aligned in a certain way. So the way that the keys and the bell are put together, especially looking at these joints here, this can get knocked out of alignment, which causes the keys to not function properly. So this, this can happen surprisingly easily, which is why it's good to take it in at least once a year, again, if not six every six months, if possible. Um, so yeah, I was talking about the saxophone getting knocked out of alignment. So ways to prevent that from happening or to help it to not happen so quickly are to not bang your case around. So a lot of younger beginners especially, they'll be carrying around their case and they'll just be smacking it into everything. They'll be fighting their friends with it, whatever. Don't, don't do that. It's, that's going to definitely lock, knock the saxophone out of alignment um, very quickly. Uh, so yeah, just make sure parents, make sure to tell your kids, don't be, don't be banging around that case, it, having case wars with their friends. It's, yeah, that, that's definitely going to knock the saxophone out of alignment real quick. Uh, another thing, try not to put the saxophone case in the trunk of your car. So that's another place that it can just be knocked around pretty easily. Uh, if, if you have it wedged between a couple different things and it can't slide around, that's that's one thing. Um, but yeah, just don't don't just throw it in the back of your car and let it slide around everywhere, especially if there's stuff that can be falling on it, whatever. Um, it's, it's very easy to for it to be bumping and get knocked out of alignment that way. Um, so yeah, just <laughs> be careful with the saxophone. They, uh, you know, they're, they're more fragile than you think. All right. Um, another thing with handling the saxophone, make sure to always carry the saxophone by the bell when you're taking it out of the case. So you don't want to be grabbing the keys because that can like, crush them down and, and have things have things get messed up that way. So yeah, anytime you're taking it out of the case, just grab it by that bell and that's gonna help things to not get damaged. Um, another thing you should be careful about is bending the neck. So it's pretty easy, especially if you are putting the mouthpiece on when the neck is already on the body of the saxophone, just accidentally bend that saxophone. And it can it can happen over time, bending the neck. Um, so just be really careful about that. If you do choose to put the neck on first and then put the mouthpiece on, just be really careful to brace the neck and don't pull down. Just try to like hold on to it neutrally. Um, Again, that, this is why with younger beginners, it's probably better just to put it on the neck first, 
then put the neck on the saxophone. That cuts down on any, any of those issues um, with pulling down on the neck. All right, so let's talk about reeds. First of all, reeds are very fragile. Don't touch the tip of the reed. I, I said this in a previous video, but just to reiterate, don't touch that tip of the reed. They're very fragile, they break, break very easily. Also, don't leave reeds on the mouthpiece. I also said this in a previous video, but it's very, very, very important. Don't leave reeds on the mouthpiece. They get moldy. You don't want mold on your reeds. It's, it's not a good time for anyone involved. It's, it's not good. So don't leave reeds on the mouthpiece. Don't do it. Either get a case. Um, Diderio makes really nice cases. Uh, they have like a little humidifier thing. I'm, I'm not endorsed. I'm, I'm not uh, sponsored by Diderio, but um, I have used their cases for a while and I really like them. Um, so yeah, uh, consider getting one of these uh, just to keep your reeds um, safe and not getting crushed in your case. Otherwise, uh, you can just put them in the little plastic things that they come in. Um, that works equally well. So, well, not equally. <laughs> the case is a little bit better, but you know, whatever. Uh, the, the plastic things also work and they keep them from getting damaged. Um, so yeah, the, just put them in something. Don't just throw them in the case. Don't leave them on your mouthpiece. All right, um, another thing with reeds, don't soak them in water. It, they get waterlogged pretty quickly. Um, I know some, some people recommend soaking reeds in water. It's, it's generally not good for the reeds. It causes them to break down and wear out a lot more quickly. Um, it's not the same thing as putting it in your mouth. Your mouth is not, um, <laughs> your mouth is not a cup of water that it's being submerged in. Uh, it's, there's a lot more moisture in just a cup of plain water. So don't soak them in water, just soak them in your mouth. That will get them, that will get them wet enough without being waterlogged. Um, breaking in new reeds is definitely a process that a lot of people don't know about. A lot of, um, a lot of new students aren't taught this, or a lot of new, uh, beginner saxophonists aren't taught this. So, breaking in new reeds. It's important to not open a new reed and then immediately play it a bunch. Um, they, they need some time to get acclimated and to, yeah, they need some time to break in. So before taking a brand new reed out and just playing it a bunch, give it some time to break in. So they're, they're, they're scared. They're scared to come out of their little package um, they, they need a little bit of time. So the first time that you play it out of the package, just play it for a minute. Just, you know, I mean, I know, okay, so this is hard when you're like very first starting. Um, so, you know, take this with a little grain of salt. Like if you only have one read, um, I don't expect you to just like play it for a minute and then put it away. But this is the best, okay, so th this is the best way to break them in. Um, first day, play it for a minute, put it away. Next day, play it for like five minutes, put it away. Day after that, maybe 10 minutes, put it away. Um, day after that, maybe 20, day after that, maybe 30. And then by that time, the, it should be just about fully broken in and then you can play it any length of time and it's fine. Um, but for, you know, the first few days at least, try to kind of incrementally increase the amount of time you're playing it. Otherwise, again, they can get waterlogged, they can get just kind of warped and weird um, if you play it too much. I hope that has given you some good information in taking care of your saxophone and your reeds. Be sure to like and subscribe so that you know when I have new videos out. I will see you next time.